Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today our very first message comes from Mayor John Tux. First of all, Scrap Farmington warmly congratulates Mayoress Cottontail and Ruins Deep. May your reservoirs be abundant and your droughts be swift. As for the propaganda thrown against me in my office, is a giant statue of me on the roof excessive? Now one might think so, but hundreds of cycles from now it will help beavers remember our humble beginnings. Do we need metal fences? They will show our beavers the metal they work hard for every day. This metal helps... Uh, oops, camera focus. <laughs> this metal helps them remember they are the wheels of progress and proud. And a proud beaver is an efficient beaver. Building everyone a second home is too much. I ask you, what will you do if something happens to your first house? Planning for disasters is just smart business. As for the campfire, that we admit it was a bit flashy, but we like it to have fun. Mayor Tux from Scrap Farmington. Thank you, Mayor Tux, for that very illuminating uh, bit of information. We certainly appreciate hearing from you. Okay, so we're, we're now going to go and check on some other stuff going on here. Um, I've had a couple of suggestions from people. Actually, this was one of them that I kind of actually want to change. Let's see how we can fix this thing here. Um, what I want to do here is actually remove this because I don't like how it kind of curls on itself. Somebody had a really great idea here. Let me see if I can just delete this very carefully. Yes, I trust you thing. Yay, maybe. Uh, well, oh, I shouldn't have deleted that. Um, no, I should have just deleted the path. Whoops. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let me know. Yeah, let's go down to that layer. I feel like that would be more useful. There we go. So we want to do something on this layer here. We do want to keep not the path because we want stairs. And while we're here, I'm going to delete all of this stuff. Actually, we actually kind... Do we like this curliness? Maybe we like the curliness. Um, Someone had a really great idea of putting... What are these? Hello? No. Interface. Help. Help. Putting a path under here and then having another staircase up here. But actually, I kind of like this. I kind of like the weird curliness. Okay, so we're keeping the weird curliness. We, you know, false alarm. Sorry about that. Um... All right, and we have some of the nice things completed here, and we actually have a message from the mayoress. Uh, this is for press release. The mayor of Ruins Deep signs into law naming District 3 as Ruins Deep. New buildings going up and topping one of the roofs is a statue to the founding beaver of Ruins Deep. Our log stores grows and we have plenty for the next few cycles to build the great dam. Our condolences to the family of Solix. He was a wonderful beaver and hard worker. He will be missed. We had our budget of foods from Groington cut harshly. Indeed, I have tasked a team to, to start growing more farms and seek out more green areas to put toward producing food for Ruins Deep. There is a law for consideration of other beavers in banning roofs in the town centre to always allow for upwards expansions. Space will always be tight. I think you're correct, Mayor's Cottontail. We might have some things like that going on, though we may end up putting one roof over here. Thinking maybe there, because that's going to give us some coverage of pathways at the very least. So maybe we'll chuck one over there and see if uh, people will enjoy it. <laughs> Look at this. Like, KOS flying in the face of the, the, the democratically elected mayor. Wow, that's rough. That's really rough. All right, here we have our place for a temple. I want to get that going. Uh, to start giving our people that bonus. So do we want to put it away from the road? Probably not. I don't think we care much. Um, in any case, I love hearing from everybody. Everybody who is, there are some citizens responding, and I highly encourage you to read and respond to the comments of everybody who's involved in this project. We've had poets from Groington, poets from Ruins Deep. We have had citizens concerned for people like Solix who have 
I don't know how they've gone missing and gotten themselves killed by dehydration. It's been rough, but yeah, anyway. Things have been going on, and I want to hear your opinion. If you live in any of these places, maybe you even live in Temporaryton. Who knows? Uh, we want to hear from you. So, let's see. We are back on our projects here. I'm going to fast forward through the night so we get some view on stuff. It looks like we have all of these gears built. So, this is amazing. It is good. We're going to go and click on that one. And then... I think it's time to fix this path a tiny bit. We need to get that organized. So, because we need to make sure that we have the wall here. So what we're going to do is, uh, unfortunately, we need to just build platforms across here to reach the next side. So we're just going to add those on and do this and then do that. We're going to need... Oh, actually, no, not that. Oh, no, not at all that. Uh, and not at all that. I... No, it's fine. Okay, we need a... We need a levee here. Let's just build... Let's build this up before we get too involved in other things so that it's easier to think. Okay, so we need to get our paths going. We need a staircase there. And then we need a pathway over here. And then we can just do a two tile thingy-majingy over there. So here we get one these and one this. Okay, good, good. And that way we can extend this path across to build the next section of this thing if we want to. This should be operational this episode. I am really excited about it. Now... Uh, a couple of people have mentioned the possibility of maybe digging a channel from this waterway into here to fill this up. And I kind of feel like it's a bit micromanagey without much benefit. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I guess it could be okay. It could save us a little bit of something. Employment maybe. I don't know. So maybe that's what we want to do. So what I'm thinking of is maybe we build up a levee here. What I want to do is make this the floodgate, cut a channel through here to use the least amount of farmland. Uh, so we just do the same thing as we were doing over here with the dynamite and stuff. Um, and then basically make a levee here and make a levee there. So let's just plan this out. Uh, all right, so let's go levee, levee, levee. And I want to have this channel to be as deep as this thing, I think, um, so that water can... F Actually, no, maybe not. Maybe we just want it to be one tile deep. Uh, this will also have the benefit of uh, uh, setting up some irrigation for over there, though I don't think we actually need that, technically. Okay, and now the other thing is, do we want to have some water storage for over here? I'm kind of thinking we might. We might want to have something maybe in this corner where it's like the least likely that we're going to get these trees cut, maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe we have the water carriers bring it up here and so that they can just quickly dump stuff. Or maybe we... I don't know what we do, actually. I'm not sure where it's best to have the water storage. Maybe in the middle, like maybe here-ish. Maybe that's the best idea. So let's see. How do we want to do that exactly? Let's figure this out. Um, oh, you know, before we figure that out, let's look at that as an, a later problem. And what we want to do is get the last of these bits of dynamite exploded. Yay. All right. So now we get our power thingies going there. And then fill that in, of course, with our platforms. And roads. Just connect everything up. Looks like everything is ready to go here. This is fun. This is amazing. Alright, so this is the last of our dynamite, I think. So let's just make this happen. So we need to have power here. Mm. Yes. Oh, it's connecting. Hooray. I'll go ahead and put this there. I don't think we'll need that much, but you never can tell. All right, so there should be 
I think. Let's go down a couple of layers. Okay, we do have this one. Perfect. All right. And then pathways. Hooray. All right. Beautiful. Hey, this is nice. Actually, the cool thing about that is it's going to green up this area here so that this is going to be no longer a problem, or at least it's going to green it for a while. Uh, I don't, I think we're below, we might build below that one tile mark right now. I don't know, actually. Let's look. Yeah, we probably are. Let's see. Have we, yeah, we're below it because you can see that this is below that, that edge of the tile there. So that's okay. We're fine. We're fine though. We're fine. Um, but yeah, I think we want to, somebody suggested that we might want to have a separate group of beavers doing this stuff in order to keep the water supplies separate from the rest of the town. I don't think that's a horrible idea. In fact, I think it might be a very good idea. Um, we might actually want to have people in Temporaryton to do those functions. Maybe we, we go ahead and do something there with that. Let's see, I want to check on one thing. Let's pause this and do a like a survey here of how high this is. If I have a bridge across here, where does that go to exactly? I guess we can probably just check it. I don't know. Let's see, because this is if we make a village here, I think the main thing here is going to be that we need. Oh, God, really? OK, fine. Um get metal blocks metal blocks are very expensive though let's see how high is that probably not high enough we might need to do a sneakier thing what what is the length here of this this is four across four so we need huh, okay we need at least four five six seven eight so we need at least a this thing if it's supposed to be there. I think we do that, maybe. Let me try and see if that's if that works. Let's see, delete this. Yes, delete that, please. And go, with, oh, does it work? Nine, 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 nine. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> it doesn't quite work. Is that one up? Ah. Okay, let's delete this and find out. I don't know if it's one up or two up. It's kind of a bit iffy there. Let's try that and see. Because ideally I would like this to be on the same level. Uh, where is it? Let's go here and there and rotate. And is it, is it at the right level? There we go. Okay, so that is... That's the right level. Now, the question is, if we need to get more of these guys put here. Oh, hello, road. Isn't that nice that you're there? I think it's nice that you're there. It's great. Uh, but we do have a tiny problem, I see. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny problem. Let's see. We're going to have to have, let's see, deep water pump here, there, there, and probably there. That gives us six, seven, eight. I think that's the minimum we need. Like minimum, minimum, minimum. What we can do is move this over to the left a tiny bit. So if we do this and do that and get rid of this and get rid of that after we mark the position, of course. Okay, and um, then we have a better connection and it enables us to actually connect things here where we are going to get our path going on this way and connecting it because they cannot cross these like this would give you a heck of a wedgie anyway so you don't want to do that so this thing i think do we use a levee there or do we do platforms it's a good question uh what we can also do is get a storage yard here not that wrong that a small warehouse for example going here or there maybe i think there is good 
trying to work out how we want stairs to go up to this place. I think that might be okay. Yes. Okay, I think it's fine. Uh, and then we take a uh, platform here. I think I might just put a platform underneath there anyway. Okay, so this is where we're going to have a dividing line, I think. Maybe here. No, well, maybe not there yet. I want them to build this, if we can, from Gnowington. There we go. Okay, can they get that far? They can actually get this stuff, so they might be able to build the bridge as well. We'll see. But yeah, for the other stuff, I think we need people in Temporaryton. We need to have a little bit of delivery. We need to have other stuff happening. Let's see. They have some stuff in there already. But we're going to have to start the uh, processes back again. How many people do we need? We need 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to make this functional. So that's a fair bit of housing. So let's just set this up. I want to set up barracks perhaps. Now then, I want to set this up quite carefully. I don't know if we're going to have baby beavers here, but it would be nice if they had a temple. It says not... Actually, temple could be right there. Or over here, maybe. Yeah, maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe it's the center of their life here. Um, and what else do we want to have? Let's see, we can have maybe a carousel. Maybe we give them all the things because they're just working tirelessly on this day after day. You never can tell what they, yeah, all the things. Um, let's see, let's do this. They're going to go to work every day. So maybe that, or maybe we just put another warehouse up here. I feel like that would be a good thing to have. Let's see, get rid of this, put in another warehouse here. That would be like maybe for food storage and whatnot. Uh, or that could be a good place for a barracks. That sounds always strange to me. A barracks. It's not an barracks or a barrack. A barracks building. I think it's always plural. That's a funny, funny word, isn't it? Okay, we also have benches. Oh, what do we do here with this stuff? I guess we have roofs. We have shrubs and statues roofs shrubs and statues but we don't have the wherewithal to build all of those this is quite nice <laughs> but maybe we put this somewhere near uh Gnoington stuff so that everybody gets benefit from it i don't know um but i don't know i think we're just building some houses here i think that's what we need to focus on most importantly um i think our people can drink from the water tanks that we set up over here i think that'll be fine so let's see large barracks holds 16 people so i think we do that possibly yeah i think we do that we'll leave this nice little space out there because i think that works quite well do we have a uh, roof that that fits on top of this Decoration, roof, three by, really? There's no three by three roof? It's quite strange. It's very strange, actually. Mm, okay, all right, fine. There was always some fun stuff to be done in The Sims with things like that. And it's just changing the, the style of the roofs and stuff. I always found that really interesting to do. Something like, I don't know, this. Oh, no, 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 nine, 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 of course. Oh, what am I thinking? No. Um, oh, no, we can't do it. Oh, gosh, I was going to put a solid block here, like a levee, but you can't put a levee on top of a building, so that's sad. Aw. Aw. Okay, I can try, though. No. I was going to lift up a little thing to have, like, a miniature towery kind of thing, but it's okay. We'll just be okay with that. We'll just do something like this or that that's fine it'll do it'll be fine 
not the greatest thing in the world, but it's fine. Now then, uh, we have that going on. Now, I want to plan the water storage here as well. So I'm just going to let the game run on fast currently. We're going to delete some of these things. So we need to delete... Not that. We need to delete these two. One, two. So that's going to be two water containers for us. Yes. And we're going to use this area as well. Right there. Okay, so that's going to work really nicely, I feel. Let's set up the new or the old trade routes, I guess. Let's see. 9, 10. We can do three here. I don't know if we're going to need more. I have a feeling that we probably want to set up a new district distribution center. I feel like we we kind of are needing more, more and more. Let's see. Uh, one of the things that was brought to my attention, I might have confused the bread thing for the potato thing. I don't know if that's so, but in this district we have plenty of both. Okay, so that's not our issue. Let's just check what we're sending to Scrap Farmington. Okay, this is all ruins deep. Scrap Farmington, sending blocks and gears and dynamite. We're sending everything to Scrap Farmington. What's going on with this? Okay, we can stop sending water, I think, to both places. Um, oh wait, Scrap Farmington, hold on, hold on. We can definitely stop sending it to Ruins Deep. Let's see, water, go away. Um, Scrap Farmington, I still want to send water to, I think. Let's put that here. Uh, add a new route. I think it's the bottom one, maybe? I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. They're not getting much through here anyway. So, what else are we sending to Scrap Farmington? We're sending blocks. Okay. Blocks there. Planks, planks. And berries. Here we're sending berries to Ruins Deep. Bread, baked potatoes, and carrots. I think we don't need either of those. Any of those. Let's see, they have potatoes. They still need carrots, I see. We actually might need more farmers here, I feel. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we might even need more storage of stuff here or closer storage. That could be one of our issues there because the nearest is over here. But we only have 200 storage as well. So that could be what's limiting the uh, carrots, for example. Slightly, slightly. Oh, this is getting far. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. This, the, hey, the Ruins Deep workers are really hoofing it. Nice. I'm impressed. You go, guys. You're yeah, fantastic. Guys and gals, pardon me. And everyone in between and outside of the spectrum as well. Okay. Did I fix this? Um, actually, this is fixed. Look at this. I forgot that those transfer power across. I forgot that there's this step here. Oh, gosh. I didn't even have to build this thing around. Okay. So things are happening. This is not necessary for construction. So we might can go. Should we go? I think we can go. Do we need... How many people do we have unemployed? That's a good question. We have zero unemployed. So we might end up pausing some stuff. Wait, what's going on? Oh, that's right. It's this issue with this problem. We might actually have some die-offs because of the lack of getting to the temples. That might impede our... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do a priority on these things. All the things here. Because it just occurred to me they might be losing some bonuses. I forget what they get from the temples, whether it's longer life or what. Let's see. Temple. Temple, temple. Fun, carousel, knowledge, temple. What are they getting? Working speed. Okay, so they're not dying. That's good. Hooray. Uh, they are working on this section here. Um, But I think I, I need to wait till they finish these areas before I delete this, this whole area. Uh, and also, they won't be able to bank this bridge either. So that's not ideal. But they need to do all this stuff. Let's see, are you guys are upgraded. Yes. Yes, you are. Ray. All right. We have, we have a lot of stuff going on here, don't we? How are we doing on the water? 
Oh, I think we, we organized that. We organized the flow. Okay, so it looks like everybody is doing the things and the stuff. Do we do we really need this many things going? Let's see, we have 950 and 750. If we turn off one of these machines, what are we lacking? Do we have... We have tons of dynamite, so I think... How does that have tons of paper? It has enough paper. I think if we pause one... Oh, this is only 80 horsepower. What what can we pause that doesn't need a lot of power? <laughs> it's like, no, we need everything. Help. Eh. All right. We are making... How many gears do we have? 60. Let's pause the gear making because we really don't need that. Those take a heck of a lot of energy. And I would like to just turn off some of these power wheels. Because that's three employees that can be doing other things. Okay, so what does that give us? We have tons of people still working the wood situation. How much wood do we have here? We have 29 wood. We don't actually have a lot of wood here. Okay, so we need to keep the, the, the folks working wood on wood. Because we're building a lot of stuff. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that was worse. Okay, thank you, game. I would love to not have those keys happen. <laughs> I always rebind those keys because I'm not a fan of, like, the changing 90 degrees in almost all games. I almost never use that in games. Though I understand there are people who do. But just not to my taste. I prefer just uh, not accidentally hitting the keys, which is inevitably what happens. Oh, this is nice. Hey, these folks... Aw, that's so nice. The folks from uh, Ruins Deep are helping Temporaryton build up their 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 place. I think we actually might need a proper name for this place. Anybody got suggestions? And anybody want to be mayor of Temporaryton? Hmm? This position is open. Okay, we're getting some stuff going on here. I guess, do we... Do we surround this entire thing with walls? I suppose we should. I guess we should just do that. Let me just surround it with levees. Until we figure out what we're going to do with this area. It is a bit irregular. Like the... Uh... Yeah, the, the edge is irregular, but I guess we'll have to figure out what we're going to do later. Are these harvestable? They are, actually. Look at this. Um, do we care? I don't think so. I don't think we actually care that much, so we're just going to delete them. Because it's too inconvenient to get a lumberjack over here and doing all the things. Okay, so... We are... Okay, we're doing really well. We're actually doing real well. Now then, this section is finished. Is this section finished? This is, and that is, and all the things are reachable. Hooray! Okay, very good. Now, now we get to this section here. Let's get our deletion tool. Hooray. Let's take these out. Yes, okay. Take these out. Actually, I can click on the bottom. There we go. Okay, so this is actually kind of at the level we want, I think. We do need to take this out. This is crops, though. There we go. Go ahead and put that up to high priority. And then we very carefully excavate this bit. Yep. And this, I think, is going to get a floodgate. Do we want it to be... Yeah, I think this is fine. I think we need to just... And this is a good good reference point, actually, because we had uh, very close to the maximum amount of drought. I believe we had 25 days, and the max is 30. So if this doesn't even get all the way to the bottom, we're doing pretty good. I'm feeling pretty confident about stuff here. Uh, all right, so let's get a floodgate two size. There we go, right there. Well, you know what we could do? We could actually make it... No, we don't need more than two, because this is not more than two. Uh, all right. Let's get floodgate two size. Hooray. And we're going to build 
that and it's going to be <laughs> unforeseen that we need a another deletion of plant life here sad times um so actually we can undelete this oh wait pause pause undelete they can harvest that because it is actually ready and we'll take a bit of dynamite over there we're gonna do the same kind of thing over here except we're just gonna have a power thing going let's check if everything's working yes shafts are working everything is turning except for the water wheels but all the things are there in place i think we might be ready this is exciting this is actually really exciting let me go ahead and just prioritize these guys a bit i want to get this going on i also want to get the bridges going on as well so there we go I'm anxious. I'm excited. This is this is pretty cool. And we're also coming on to the the start of a new flood season. So yay on that. So yeah, our under underfloor power system is working. This is pretty darn cool. So here we're going to take a path this way. Hopefully these carrot uh planters will get these carrots to harvest them without me having to... Oh, there they go. Nice. We're just going to need a tiny bit of road there as soon as they pick up their leavings. My goodness, you guys. Come on. Now here, I probably will delete both squares so that it deepens this reservoir. But yeah, I think what we need to do here is maybe we also put in a uh, depth marker. I feel like that's always a nice thing to have. Which is... I never place these. The reason I don't like the depth markers is because I like them both that they are relative and that they aren't relative. So, for example, here, it's easy. But here, like this is one of the big things. Oh, not there. Oh, God, I've gotten lost in all the progress. So, this is a depth from the bottom here. This is a different depth. These are... Oops, excuse me. This is a different depth. This is a different depth. So if I put a depth marker down here versus up here, it's going to give two different readings. And it's the same water level. So, yeah. <laughs> it's not great. But, I mean, on the other hand, here, if you put it up here, like, like for planning sake, for example, that's where you would need to know the depth of the water is comparing, like, here to over here and maybe you don't know the height of the cliffs or it's too hard to read or whatever you know that kind of thing so yeah i don't know it's it's a bit difficult sometimes that i think okay so let's also figure out this we need to make sure that scrap farmington is taken care of because they are very important to us they are very critical key components and uh much loved and much um, reviled on certain occasions by other people. No, we're not even talking about that. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I do want to see how well this works. So I kind of want to finish all of this building if we can rather soonish. But we'll see where we get to. I don't know how far we're going to get to in this episode. But yeah, we have some time left. To get people doing what we need them to do. But it looks like um, they're not doing a lot over here. I wonder why they're building over here. What the heck could they be building over here? I'm confused by this. I'm actually very confused by this. Looks like they built this, the storage building. Because I haven't prioritized any of those things, I don't think. So that's a bit confusing. Whereas these things over here are very prioritized. I would like to... We need to actually put something here on priority. These two platforms. Because of the road issue. So yeah. Oh, this is exciting. Oh my god. I, I'm so tempted to like take things for a test spin. But this is really good to see all of these cranks or shafts turning. Even though we don't have the um, the water wheel spinning, especially since we don't have the water wheel spinning, that's really important. Okay, so how is this going? Are we 
Come on, people, hurry! Don't you know this is important business? Go, 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 go. Now, do we... Wait, we created employees. Maybe. Maybe not. On the other hand, maybe not. Do we have enough berries? I think... Yeah, we. I think we have tons of berries. We also have tons of water. Well, not tons. Hold on. Hold on. We're not, like, complete tons. How are we doing here? We have tons over here. We're good over there. We are fabulous in Scrap Farmington as well. Now, this is kind of tons of water. We still have mucho water. And we have two days left. I'm going to go ahead and build another large water tank. This was planned for here anyway. So might as well just put in a path there. But yeah, I'm kind of wondering, did we ship everybody off? Or did we just, like, increase the hauling and other stuff way beyond its limits? I think that's what we might have done, is just put a lot of people into hauling and stuff. But I do feel like maybe we need another breeding pod. Let's just turn this one on. Okay, we do have the Flame of Progress. The happiness is here. Hooray! I forget which ones give longevity. Let's see. We kind of want to max those out if possible. Uh, let's see. Shelter. Life expectancy is important there. Carrots. And then... Let's see. Campfire adults don't care about. Oh, they do! Oh my god, they do. No, they don't. Because they don't crawl into that breeding pod. Mm -mm. No. No. Beaver statue, walk, working speed, working speed, and more working speed. Laborer monument, working speed. This one is walking speed. This one is life ex Oh, the ingenuity. Yeah, that's what we need. We really need that one. All right. Well, we don't have 12,000 science points yet, which is, yeah. It's okay. We've been working on more important things. We're just going to say it that way. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Go. And then I want one more dynamite here. Put one right there. Uh, go. And then the rest of this is going to be just a path over the top. Like that. And add path. And bravo. Yes. We want to do it that way because if we put a path through here... Yeah, we still couldn't have... Anyway. Yeah, we don't want the water to leak out, so it's important to have it one from the edge anyway. So there we go. Okay. So, ooh, lots of stuff has been done. Wow. This is great. This is kind of great. So it looks like we're getting a lot of things done here in... Oh, wow. Look at the temple going up. That's exciting. I wonder if we're lacking planks. That's why they're building stuff with just logs. That's probably why they went over there to just build stuff. Because I think we probably have enough stuff here. Let's see. We have tons of logs. 200, well, not tons, actually. <laughs> we have 279 logs. Maybe we need to employ somebody else as a lumberjack. Potentially. Let's see. Power wheels. Yeah, we got everybody working that. Hauling post, grill, forester. Farmhouse District Center. Deep Water Pump 3. Maybe we just turn this to 2. And then one person can work the... Um... Oh. Are they able to get to these trees? I'm kind of wondering about this. Let's go ahead and unpause this one. Just see what their cutting lines are like if we need to extend the forestry and just maybe put someone somewhere else. Oh, this is looking good. That's nice. Wowie. This is exciting. I can't believe we're getting closer. Okay, 0.8 days left. I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, just make sure that these are not overflowing. Okay, this needs to go to 2.5. Somebody asked why I adjust it upward. And I usually try to do it at the max. Because if you have it at 2.5, you have point or half a tile or half a voxel leaking out. So if there's like 0.1 days left on wet season, sometimes I'll adjust it up so that they store just a tiny bit more water. And that's the reason I do that. I know a couple people were asking me that. 
and it might not be obvious uh you know when i first mention it but that's the reason for it okay scrap farmington is farming things how are we doing over here what's going on with stuff i guess we're all full yep full things like that's a bad thing i always wonder about that why there is no thing for that the other thing we could do here is actually make planks in scrap farmington but then again the problem with scrap farmington making planks that means that uh people will actually have to work <laughs> i feel like the scrap farming tonians have this kind of like i don't know they're a bit yeah they have a bit of a, a chip on their shoulder maybe maybe you never can tell though i don't know just speculating idle speculation it is just completely idle Okay, this is getting made, which makes me quite happy about the situation. Let's go ahead and pause these as they're getting built so that they don't contribute to the uh, lack of employed beavers. Because I'm sure that association would not be happy about this. And I think we might want to... Do we care about this? Yes, we do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to prioritize this put that up a tiny bit all right things are going really well drought has ended okay great oh, water oh my god all right i'm gonna go ahead and put this down to height one i want to watch stuff flow in so anything below one doesn't matter uh because these other tiles are one high so <laughs> That's not necessary, but everything above. Oh, the greening is happening. Happy days. I'm also going to go ahead and start opening up these water uh, water pumps so that we can get water. Oh, wow. I turned these on? Well then, surprise. Quel surprise. Wow. Now, do we want these to work? I don't know. I feel like we're really lacking people right now. I think we might want to turn off or take off maybe a couple builders and take off a couple haulers because we need to get our water gatherers gathering water. Super kind of important. Well, more than kind of important. Really important. Let's get this stuff built as well. And I want to set up these large water tanks. And those we will put roads to like that. Oh, beautiful. All right. So, all right. So this area has got to fill up a bit first, which is, look at this. This is so beautiful. I love like the, the sort of diagonalness of these watery bits. It's so nice. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. So we're going to, we're going to fill this until it's filled. Did they build the water marker? Yeah. No, they didn't. Not yet. It's okay though. Anyway, when it looks done, we're going to stop it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna see if it works. Uh-huh, right. This is exciting though, oh my God. Actually, we can leave it open because it doesn't hurt us if it's open. Let's put this on height one so it can flow in there. And then here, we're gonna turn these to height two and a half. So that can flow down because this spills into here, this, Thing which is linked here so that's fine and these things are all the way down so that's fine okay everything is actually wonderful life is good here so yeah let's leave it let's leave it at height zero yeah that's fine oh and see guess what hey we get to turn off these thingies yay more employees to dig water i mean yeah something <laughs> something about water <laughs> Oh, this is great. I'm so excited about this. This is quite nice, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and open up these uh, posts. Open up all of them. Yes. And open up this one as well, possibly. All right. Beavers on parade. Wow. I intended this to be like a daytime shot, maybe even like a cliffhanger. But yeah, no cliffhangers happening here. It's fine, though. But <laughs> at least it'll save us a little bit of labor in the summertime here. How much is this generating? 3,000 horsepower. 
that's not bad. That's really good, actually. More than we have ever had, I think. So what's going to happen here? We are not going to get stuff um, down there. But but because we have a one tile opening here, we and we have two outflowing tiles, when it gets to that height, it will just flow out and enter the rest of this reservoir. So life is really good right now. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> so grand opening of city town without a proper names. Uh, water wheel extravaganza is now on. Let me just take a, a nice picture of this because we want to just remember this for our scrapbooks and all the things. There we go. Oops. Oh, no. Game, what are you doing? Why? Hello? Okay, you did the thing. Sometimes ShareX doesn't want to be friendly like this. So anyway, but I do like taking uh, screenshots while we're all here and can remember the memories. Yay. All right, so this is slowly filling up, as we see. Um, it is an okay reservoir. Not, not the best, of course. Of course, the deeper the reservoir, the better, because obviously we have surface evaporation. And the more surface, the more evaporation. So deep is better than wide in this case. But why is this? This looks very strange. I feel like there's something very wrong with this animation. It should be over the top of that pyramid-y thing, I think. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It is working as intended. So yay for water wheels, uh, which kind of brings us to a better power position than just using these guys down here because um, they take... They are only worked after this reservoir gets filled. So right now we're doing really good. We need to just make sure that Scrap Farmington does have enough water. That is one of the sort of more dangerous things in this particular playthrough. Uh, make sure that they are not starving for water. Okay, but things are going really well. I'm really happy with this. Hooray. Uh, we're getting tons of water past these posts. But it does look like there's not enough people here. So I want to um, pause something to get people there. Uh, what can we pause? I guess we can pause. How much dynamite do we have? 51. Okay, I'm going to pause this paper factory. And what else can we afford to pause? <laughs> Nothing we have. Wow, we need gears as well. Yeah, because we set up those uh, water water tanks, which is kind of inconvenient at the moment i think let's see we have three lumberjacks working here wow what do we do here i don't even know um looks like we have too many carrots so i think we're gonna pause the farmhouse for now and pause this farmhouse for now as well that's four people pause the is this person actually working no no, I think uh, all the trees have been planted, so we can pause that. Uh, what else? What else can, can we deal with here? <laughs> what else can we pause? I think what we do is do the trick thing where you pause the builder's hut and the hauling post. Let them settle into water posts, and then you can just press play again. All right, I think that's what we do. Yep, that, that makes it easier. Okay, wow, this is working really well. And of course now we have, uh, there's no, um, oh, actually we could open these up, couldn't we? Ah, it's fine, I'll wait till it gets down here. It'll be okay. So I don't want that to have them walk all that way. But I think we should hopefully have enough time to gather enough water, I hope. We'll see, I guess we'll have to see. So. This is cool though. So much power, so much everything. Wow. It's so ironic that I need to actually turn off buildings because not enough employees, but I do feel like we definitely need more people here in Gnowington. I feel like there have been, oh, we have three unemployed. Uh, you know what? I'll just turn these on anyway. Why not? Turn those three on. So this is cool. It's very much free power. And making this longer is only going to make this thing better. 
So we might think about making this better. I don't know though, because it is kind of a difficult balance. You can't have too many people, uh, too many beavers. Otherwise you do run out of water. I mean, it's just, there's only so much that flows during the wet season. And once you're done with that, then you're kind of out of luck. There is no more available to you after that. So it's a bit tough, I think, that. I'll go ahead and uh, turn this up to height half. Uh, or maybe height two, or yeah, one and a half. So that it fills up a bit, and then it only goes out if there's more than that. Okay, ooh, our depth marker is here, yay. So now it's at 1.78. Oh no, 1.5, yeah. And so that's what we expected to have happen. So hopefully this is going to get hit the tops of this area soon-ish because we're waiting for this to go and flood. Hello. I guess we're not quite to two and a half yet. That's the strange thing also about the water markers is that unless you have, oh, there it goes. Uh, unless you have the water marker on a height that is at the height you built the floodgate, then it's not going to show the same number. So it's a bit annoying, the water markers, I feel. I wish it would, it was like, I don't know, I wish it was slightly different. Or you could change, like, for a universal measurement, height from the top of the world or height from the bottom of the world. And you could toggle that on and off to see how deep you want to build your dams or that kind of thing so but anyway i'm afraid that that has to be the end of our episode um so congrats to maris cottontail once again and uh, i hope you're enjoying the story remember temporaryton actually needs a new name because they are gonna be uh manning these pumps and stuff in the dry season so they need a new name for their town and are looking for you to give them some inspiration so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time <laughs>